Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. Before we start, I kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Orenthal James Simpson was born on July 9, 1947 in United States. Simpson was an American football player and actor. He played in the National Football League, NFL, for 11 seasons, primarily with the Buffalo Bills, and is regarded as one of the greatest running backs of all time. Simpson played college football for the Trojans, where he won the Heisman Trophy as a senior and was selected first overall by the Bills in the 1969 NFL Draft. He was later inducted into multiple football halls of fame. Simpson died at the age of 76, and he died from cancer. Ron Thompson was born on January 31, 1941 in United States. Thompson was an American actor, singer-songwriter, and dancer. Thompson had a brief career as a rock singer in the 1960s and wrote and recorded a number of singles as Ronnie Thompson under the guidance of his mentor and friend, rockabilly singer Ursel Hickey. Thompson did a dramatic portrayal of Henry David Thoreau on the 1976 NBC television series The Rebels. He starred in the 2018 thriller film Cargo. Thompson died at the age of 83, and his cause of death is unknown. Clarence Henry was born on March 19, 1937, in United States. Henry, known as Clarence Frogman Henry, was an American rhythm and blues singer and pianist, best known for his hits Ain't Got No Home, 1956, and I Don't Know Why, But I Do, 1961. In April 2007, Henry was honored for his contributions to Louisiana music with induction into the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame. Henry died at the age of 87, and he died from surgical complications. Eleanor Coppola was born on May 4, 1936, in United States. Eleanor was an American documentary film director, screenwriter, and artist. She was best known for her 1991 documentary film Hearts of Darkness, as well as other documentaries chronicling the films. Through her film work, Eleanor was able to illustrate not only what goes into a film financially, but also capture the emotional toll film Macking has on individuals on and off the camera. Eleanor died at the age of 87 and she died naturally. Lorena Velázquez was born on 15 December 1937 in Mexico. Velázquez was a Mexican actress and beauty pageant title holder. Velázquez played varied roles in the 1960s, from a vedette to a cowgirl and even as the queen of vampires. She also played two antagonistic roles in a film as queen of a faraway planet and her twin, Picture. In the 1970s, she made the transition to television. At the time of her death, she was one of the last surviving stars from the golden age of Mexican cinema. Velázquez died at the age of 86, and she died from stroke. Trina Robbins was born on August 17, 1938, in United States. Robbins was an American cartoonist. She was an early participant in the underground comics movement and one of the first women in the movement. She co-founded the Women's Comics Collective, wrote for Wonder Woman, and produced adaptations of Dope and the Silver Metal Lover. Robbins was an active member of science fiction fandom in the 1950s and 1960s. Her illustrations appeared in science fiction fanzines, Robbins died at the age of 85, and she died from stroke. Richard Andrew Rosser was born on 5th of October 1944 in United Kingdom. Rosser was a British trade union leader and labor politician who was a member of the House of Lords. 
He latterly served as shadow spokesperson for transport and home affairs in the House of Lords. Rosser served as an opposition whip and spokesperson for the Labour Party on defence, home affairs and transport at various times from 2010. He stood down from the Labour front bench in 2022 due to ill health. Rosser died at the age of 79 and he died naturally. Don Donaher was born on January 21, 1932, in United States. Donaher was an American college basketball coach and athletics administrator. He served as the head men's basketball coach at the University of Dayton from 1964 to 1989, compiling a record of 437 to 75. His Dayton Flyers were champions of the 1968 National Invitation Tournament and runners-up at the 1967 NCAA University Division Basketball Tournament. Dayton died at the age of 92, and he died naturally. Faith Ringgold was born on October 8, 1930, in United States. Ringgold was an American painter, painting on different materials including fabric, a published author, mixed-media sculptor, performance artist, and intersectional activist, perhaps best known for her narrative quilts. Ringgold died at the age of 93, and she died naturally. Robert McNeil was born on January 19, 1931, in Canada. McNeil was a Canadian-American journalist, writer, and television news anchor. He partnered with Jim Lehrer to create the landmark public television news program the Robert McNeil Report, in 1975. He co-anchored the program until 1995. From 1971 to 1974, he hosted the news discussion show Washington Week in Review on the Public Broadcasting Service. McNeil died at the age of 93, and he died naturally. Lloyd Omdahl was born on January 5, 1931, in United States. Omdahl was an American politician who was the 34th Lieutenant Governor of North Dakota. Governor George A. Sinner was re-elected with Omdahl on the Democratic ticket in 1988. He was the last Democrat to hold that role to date. Previously, Omdahl was a professor of political science at the University of North Dakota and was the Democratic nominee for North Dakota's at-large congressional district in 1976. Omdahl died at the age of 93, and he died from short illness. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.